If there's one thing I value in myself and the people that I love the most in my life, it's those that have a sense of urgency. It's those that have a sense of urgency that are successful in their goals. It's those that have a sense of urgency that are actually able to move ahead in life. On this episode, I wanna talk about this one thing that I do that helps me get a sense of urgency. Intro. What's up everybody, I'm TK and you are watching another Unstoppable Sunday. Unstoppable Sunday is about spending 30 minutes every Sunday to get more proactive in our lives. It's how we punch those Sunday jitters in the face, it's how we attack Monday, and it's how we make sure that we live a much more proactive life. The way we do this is we ask ourselves two questions. Number one, where am I? And number two, what do I do next? If you wanna learn more about this practice, there's a link below to our Unstoppable Life Planning Guide. It'll teach you what to do. Also on Unstoppable Sundays, we discuss a topic on how to live a more proactive life. In today's episode, I wanna talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. It's people that have a sense of urgency. So often in life, we struggle to get movement, to get momentum, to actually take action on the things that we know are good for us. So many of us have that one project that we've been putting off, but there's, there's that one project in life that we know if we actually execute on that project or launch that business or do that one thing that we've been putting off, it would bring about massive change in our lives. Instead of actually doing them, we come up with excuses. We say, tomorrow I finally will blank. Or next weekend, instead of watching Netflix, I'm gonna actually spend the whole weekend, get super productive, and sometimes we say, you know what, this year I'll actually make that thing happen. And pretty soon, we start to lose momentum, we start to lose, lose that, that excitement around that project, and tomorrow and next weekend and this year becomes one day and maybe. I realize that there's this one characteristic that really sets apart the people that actually take action and the people that don't. It's that one characteristic that gets people to get off their butts on a weekend or on a weekday, stop watching Netflix, stop just procrastinating and actually take action on the things they know they need to do. It's also the same characteristic that every single top performer I've ever worked with has exhibited. It's having a sense of urgency. People who have a sense of urgency are friggin' unstoppable. People who have a sense of urgency are friggin' unstoppable. No matter how many things that comes across them, no matter how many obstacles there are, no matter how many competing priorities that are there, no matter how scary certain steps might be, they have this, they're wired differently. You know them when you meet them. They, they have this look in their eyes and they're just like, no, we must do this, and we must do this now, and we must do it with a sense of urgency. And the question becomes, how do you get a sense of urgency? How do I get a sense of urgency? I have a sense of urgency in the thousand people I wanna impact this year through Unstoppable in helping them live more proactive lives. Every project I've ever worked on, ever, I've had a sense of urgency. I would walk into meetings, walk into Mondays, and say, let's go do this. How do you get that? So about a few years ago, I came across this thing that actually helped me get and understand this sense of urgency. It doesn't just come like that. You don't just say, oh, I'm gonna have a sense of urgency now. Like, look, that sense, that feeling of urgency, that motivation, inspiration, that drive that comes along with it has to come from some sort of framework that you attach yourself to. The very simple method that I started to come across, the very simple method that I use is I calculate how much time I have left on this planet. Now look, I'm not doing this to be morbid on a Sunday. I'm not here to talk about death, but let's be real. We are going to die at some point and we only have a certain amount of time on this planet. Now, when we don't calculate how much time that we have, it becomes easier for us to procrastinate. It becomes easier for us to say tomorrow, or next weekend, or one day, or maybe. It becomes easy for us to put something off. When we actually get into calculating just how much time we have, probabilistically, that's when you start to get some sort of a number. 
So I started doing this a few years ago and I actually have a spreadsheet that keeps it. Now look, there's no way to know exactly how long we're all gonna live, like, pr but probabilistically, there's some ways to figure out how long we might live. So if you actually Google the average human life expectancy, if you're in a relatively stable country, I live in the United States, you're gonna live about 79 years. You have 79 years to live on average, human being. We're doing pretty well as humans, 79 is pretty good. Now look, how long I live and how long you live might dramatically change because of circumstances, unforeseen events, who knows? But by and large, on average, 79 years. So I didn't do the math, I'm 36 years old, and so if you take away 36 from 79, you get 43 years. I've got 43 years to live. And I started doing this math a few years ago, and I don't mean this to be morbid in any way. I feel empowered by it because I'm doing the math. It's much easier for us to not think about that number, even probabilistically, because then it allows us to procrastinate and assume there's always a tomorrow. But if you actually do the math, if you just figure out out of the 79 years you probably have to live, how much you have left, something clicks. Something clicked inside of me to say, okay, that's not a lot of time. Now, I don't just stop there. I don't just stop at, okay, I've got 43 years. That's like 15,000 days. That doesn't get anyone anywhere. Doesn't get me sense of urgency. But, but the thing that I do is I then say, all right, that means I've got 43 birthday parties to live. That also means I've got 43 New Year's parties to live. That means that I'm gonna experience 43 Christmases and 43 summers. And one of my most favorite things is the 4th of July barbecue. And that means I'm gonna have just 43 more 4th of July barbecues. And that's it. So somehow 43 years feels like, an, like a huge amount of time. I've got so much time, I've got time on my side. But on the other hand, if I've only got 43 more summers and 43 more New Year's to celebrate, 43 of my birthdays to celebrate, all of a sudden you start to get that perfect, that awesome, that beautiful sense of urgency. You start to get that sense of urgency because you're just like, hang on a second. Who am I gonna invite to my 43 more birthdays that I have? Who do I wanna spend time with during the 4th of July? Where do I wanna do that? Do I wanna go take a vacation? Do I wanna go to Bali again for New Year's? It starts to make you think about, do I start a family? What do I do with my family? Am I focusing on the right projects? It gives you that sense of urgency. And then the next time you're kinda of sitting on that couch and you're watching Netflix, you have 43 more birthdays to go, and you're like, tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. I need to go after it today. This simple math trick, and like, look, your math might be different. You might have different circumstances. For me, I may have 43 more birthdays, or I may have two more, I don't know. There may be scientific discoveries that double my lifespan. By the time I'm 50, maybe people are living to be 150 because of science. I don't know, but probabilistically, I take the average of 79 years and I subtract my age from it. And that gives me, I've got 43 more. And when I think about things that way, if you kind of wonder like, why does TK go around going all crazy and I'm so excited? It's because I know I've got 43, I've got a sense of urgency. And as soon as you get that sense of urgency, you start to become just that, that much closer. Just like that much closer to being unstoppable. Now, we talk about becoming unstoppable, living a more proactive life every Sunday on this channel. If you're interested in learning more about it and you haven't checked out our life planning guide, there's a link below, it's completely free, gives you five steps to become more proactive in your lives and goes deeper into a lot of these things that we talk about. If you're into that, follow the link. And also more importantly, if you're getting value from this, please hit the subscribe button. We actually publish an episode every Sunday. And also, I am on a personal mission uh, if you will, with a sense of urgency uh, to help a thousand people live more proactive lives this year. So if you're into that, um, please comment someone that would like this video down below, tag them, and hit the like button so it spreads across your network. Help us hit that goal of a thousand people. It's super important to me. I'm TK. Most importantly, remember, everyone needs a strategy for their life, but yours needs to be unstoppable. I'll see you next Sunday.